The Dead Bird by Margaret Wise Brown. The bird was dead when the children found it. But it had not been dead for long. It was still warm and its eyes were closed. The children felt with their fingers for the quick beat of the bird's heart in its breast, but there was no heart beating. That was how they knew it was dead. And even as they held it, it began to get cold and the limp bird body got stiff so they couldn't bend its legs and the head didn't flop when they moved it. That was the way animals got when they have been dead for some time cold, dead, and stone still with no heart beating. The children were very sad the bird was dead and could not fly again, but they were glad they had found it because now they could dig. A grave in the woods and bury it. They could have a funeral and sing to it the way grown-up people did when someone died. So they took it out in the woods. And they dug a hole in the ground. They put warm sweet ferns in the bottom of the grave and they wrapped the bird up in grapevine leaves and put it in the ground. Then they put more ferns on top of it and a little white violets and yellow star flowers. Then they sang a song to it. Oh bird, you're dead. You'll never fly again. Way up high with other birds in the sky. We sing to you because you're dead. Feather bird and we buried you in the ground with ferns and flowers because you will never fly again in the sky way up high, little dead bird. Then they cried because their singing was so beautiful and the ferns smelled so sweetly and the bird was dead. They put dirt over the bird as they sang and then they put more ferns and flowers and a gray stone on top of the dirt. On the stone they wrote, 
Here lies a bird that is dead. Around the stone they planted white violet plants and wild geraniums. Only the geraniums faded. And every day until they forgot they went and sang to their little dead bird and put fresh flowers on his grave.